Bob Mann, Dr. Volks here. I'm going to go over a um, very interesting thing that we do here. It's called bump steer. And what bump steer, it's bump steer, is when the wheel goes up and down, it actually steers itself. And you say, how could it be? Well, it's due to the suspension designs, where the tie rod is placed, and where the rack is placed. On an ideal world, when the car goes up in the air and comes back down, it shouldn't change the toe. So you go to alignment, they set the toe. But in reality, some cars are really way off. I've had, especially the Volkswagen platform, we can go into a bump or a compression, which is compression going into a turn with the brakes to make the turn. And these wheels can tow out a total of 120 thousandths per wheel, which is a quarter of an inch of tow out when you really don't want it, or tow in depending on the combination. So this is a really neat uh, jig. It has a dial indicator on one and a little feeler. And as we set the ride height, which we know from when uh, we check the car, from the center to the wheel, well, we're at 14. And then what we do is we zero off this dial indicator, and then we record it as we go up, as like we're going up. And it measures as this wheel actually turns in and out. And we record those values. Then we go back and we figure out what we have to do. On this particular car, this uh, 2009 platform, to get the bump steer correctly on this thing in, through a two inch compression, so the car is hitting the brake going down, and a two inch up lifting coming out of the turn, we can have a variance of about 80 thousandths per wheel. So that's an eighth of an inch toe in and out. In a racing condition, this can be uh, temperamental to it. So what we want to do is correct it. As you can see, we're all set up. Now I'm going to go through the cycle a little bit and I'm going to watch the dial indicator and I'm going to see what our values are. And as they change, I record them and then we're going to go back down. So this allows me to correct the bump steer on cars in this Volkswagen platform. Uh, the 2009 has a tendency to doing a toe in on compression. So I want to fix that. I want to see if I can get it 100% where it's just zero. As the car goes up and down, the wheels stay straight. They don't do this. Because that's what bump steer is doing, is the car is steering by itself. So the fix on this car is to take the inner, the outer tie rod, remove it, convert it to a high end, and then build a shank that will fit into the spindle. Or the other way is to build a spindle. I think it's a lot easier. We've done the high end conversion on the race car and it's worked very well. So uh, this is a neat little way of doing and that's something that uh, race car builders and racers need to address and that's how it's done.